Good morning, friends. Welcome back to She's in Her Apron. What I love about our new home is all the light that comes in. With these big windows, it really is a comfort. Today I'm gonna to take you along with me as I just go about my day, no makeup, threw on a dress, I'm just comfy in my element. I'd like to just attack my morning routine and just see what comes of my day. Some days I map out and I plan. I get to work with filming and editing. And then there's days where I just wanna be in my home. Take it moment by moment, do what feels good. Today, I was inspired by Brittany over at Pennies Into Pearls. I follow her on Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel here. And I saw her start a crock pot meal, which was chicken noodle soup. And I thought, why haven't I done my chicken orzo soup in the crock pot before? So, that's what I'm making for dinner. I do have a video on this soup. Just click on the link below. I used some frozen chicken that I had in my refrigerator and some leftover chicken broth that I had in the refrigerator as well. I thought, let's use this up and make some soup. I'm using bone-in chicken thighs, which really will flavor the broth so well. There was a time when I was lonely I was trying hard to get by Taking day by day. I'm putting it on high for about four hours. Then I'll revisit it. You came along. I know I never felt that strong. Nothing's gonna hold us down. Yeah, we are taking my This day was a Monday, and the zone for this week is the living room, so I decided to give the living room a good dusting. You and me were in the moment we've been waiting for. Come summer, winter, fall, the spring, no matter what the future brings, nothing's gonna hold us down, cause we are taking off the ground now. And then back up into the laundry room, where I'm finishing my morning routine by swapping out the laundry. Doggy, when you look at this sock basket, <laughs> I think it's time to start pairing. This puppy follows me everywhere. I can't even fold socks without her visiting me. 
Okay. <laughs> Ooh. You are funny, but I need to do these socks. You're so silly. Well, if I'm making soup for dinner, then we definitely need rolls. So I'm gonna be making some homemade rolls today. Today I'm gonna to be trying a different recipe. It's from the Griffiths Family Recipes Cookbook, and this is a great cookbook. I have made their bread before, and I have shared it with you on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please do. I share a lot more over there. So I knew the bread was good, so I decided to try making them into rolls. So this is the first time you're seeing me do this. A lot of people ask me what this big mixer is. It's a Bosch. They're perfect for big batches of breads or cookies. I learned to make bread when Callie was just a little girl. I went to a bread making class with my mother-in-law and sister-in-law and it was from Pantry Secrets. It was so fascinating learning how to make bread. It's not as hard as you think it is. You just need practice. I really do enjoy making bread. I'm not the best at making it into a loaf and rolling it out, but it always seems to come out good. I just follow the recipe and it seems to work. I love making bread. It makes the house smell so good. I have always loved homemade bread. Um, when I was younger, my mom would make it sometimes and it was just so good. I always preferred homemade bread over store-bought bread. So I'm gonna put this big bowl into the microwave so it has a nice warm spot to rise. Like I said, I'm in my element today. I just love being home, getting things done, not on a timeline, and just enjoying my day and just finding joy. And one of the things that brings me joy is cooking and baking when I don't feel the pressure to. So I'm gonna bake up some oatmeal, chocolate chip and oatmeal raisin cookies for the family. I do have a video on this recipe. I'll leave a link for you down below. I love it with raisins. My kids love it with chocolate chips. This is my mom's oatmeal raisin chocolate chip cookie recipe. Just so good. They're chewy in the middle, but nice and crispy on the outside. I invite you to go watch that video on how I make it because I share a fun story about these cookies. I am enjoying the new KitchenAid. I did get this for Christmas if you're new to the channel, and I love it for the small things. This is the only kitchen appliance out of my counter. It's been so handy, and I really am enjoying it for the smaller batch things. I wish you guys could smell my house today. Between the soup, the bread, and the cookies, it is absolutely heaven in here. It 
So since I had never made these rolls before, and I was following the recipe to a T, but I wanted to see it in action. So I went over to Ellie Meekum's channel, and there, her and her mom are sharing how to make the rolls. This is from their cookbook. So it was so fun watching them do it and, and making it along with them. I'll leave a link to that video on how you can make these. Ellie and her mom, Jennifer, will then direct you to click on a link to learn how to make the bread. So you need to do those steps first before you make the rolls, obviously. I'll leave both links down below for the bread so you can start there and then turn them into rolls. Would you look at those? I mean, come on. Light, fluffy, they're not dense at all. They were so good, you guys. So the soup is done after, gosh, probably five hours. I took out the chicken, it was so moist. I grabbed all the bones out, shredded it up as best I could, and just left it in there. So right now I'm making a roux to thicken up the soup just a little bit. So I added the rest of the orzo that I have. A lot of you have asked what is orzo. Orzo is a pasta that's shaped in a small like rice. Now I'm turning this on warm because it doesn't need to cook anymore and that orzo is going to cook up fast because that is piping hot soup. I'm going to put a lid on it then I'm going to go take Shaylee to cheer. So dinner is done. Wow, you guys, I've been looking real good for you in this vlog. Oh my gosh. All right. Been home for a while since cheer. Stopped at Famous Footwear to grab a pair of shoes. <laughs> they're Skechers Air. They're Skechers Go Go. They're Go Go Mats. Like a, I don't know. But they're Walk Air Walks. Go Walks. Oh, I still have the tag right here on. I wore them out of the store because they were so stinking comfy. Go walks. That's what they look like. They are heaven on my feet. And this is what I'm gonna be using to walk Disney in. So I'm gonna wear them uh, and clean the kitchen and break them in. So let's put all the mess away. We're going to put the rest of the soup, everyone's eaten, into uh, containers and put it in their fridge. And they could take that to work tomorrow if they want. Put these rolls into some bags and these cookies into some bags. Family dinner was good. Now the kids are taking a little electronic time before bed. Derek is unwinding to basketball. And I'm gonna clean the kitchen and take a hot bubble bath. Since I'm going to take my bath, I am going to put this on a four hour delay and it'll start then. Everything is cleaned, yay, but everything is picked up. Oh, feels so good. All right, getting in the tub. Thank you so much for joining me today, friends. I pray that we all can find joy in our days, even the monotonous days. Whatever it is that you do, add things in your routine that are for you, that bring you joy, and give you the motivation for the next day. You all are awesome, and don't forget to pop.